Hello everyone. Welcome to Computer Accounting Applications for Business. I am Professor Reeves and I will be your instructor for this course. I am currently logged into the Blackboard site. Once you're on the Blackboard site, begin with the announce announcements tab. Any announcement I put on the Blackboard site will be sent to your school issued email account. I recommend you log into Blackboard a minimum of every 48 hours to see what content may have been added to the Blackboard site. Okay, let's begin with the Start Here menu. Under your Start Here menu, you will see the orientation video that we're working on now. You also have an introduction blog that must be completed by this Sunday. You will earn two bonus points for completing the introduction blog. The blog allows me as your instructor to learn more about my students. You also get to learn a little bit about your peers by completing the introduction blog. In addition to that, the blog will be used for a attendance purposes the first week as well. There are some policies as well that you're going to see under the Start Here menu. So review those policies. And once you completed the Start Here menu, I want to click Next on the Syllabus and the Schedule. Here we have the Course Outline. The Course Outline shows the different chapters we're going to cover each week of our eight-week semester. So we're covering chapters one and two this week. It also shows the due date for your chapter one and chapter two assignments. Next, I want to take a look at the course syllabus, which I have up already. Here it is. So the first section is about the course. Again, this is a first eight-week online course. Next, you have my information. This is showing my virtual or my online office hours as well as my campus office hours. I am on the Forest Park campus in room F324. Here is my office phone as well as my cell phone. As mentioned, you should log in a minimum of every 48 hours into the Blackboard site to check for communication. You can contact me via email, by phone. You can call or leave a text message or in person during my campus office hours. I will do my best to return all correspondence within 48 hours or sooner. Okay. So what is this course all about? Well, this class focuses on how to use accounting software to do a variety of accounting functions, where we're looking at how to do journey entries, how to pay bills, create invoices, uh, set up vendors, set up new customers. We're going to use accounting software in this course to do a variety of accounting duties, okay? Next, you can read about the course learning outcomes, and I'll now take you to the required course material. The required course material is going to be a textbook called Computer Accounting with QuickBooks 2019 by Donna K. This is a McGraw-Hill textbook, again, Computer Accounting with QuickBooks 2019 by Dinah K. Okay, now you are required to have access to QuickBooks 2019 software, and I will show you in a few how you can download the QuickBooks 2019 software. Now, in regard to the actual textbook, you can purchase a hard copy of the textbook, or you can use an ebook from the textbook website. 
I will show you how to access Connect. You are not required to have Connect for this course, but if you choose to use the ebook, I will show you how to access the Connect site. Okay? So this is an online course. So of course, internet access is a requirement along with access to the QuickBooks 2019 software, access to the Blackboard software, and the Microsoft Office products. Next, it gives you the course procedures that you can read those at your leisure, but read the syllabus in full. Your midterm and final exam will be administered online. So there will be a set time for the midterm exam and the final. We'll talk more about that. They will be administered online utilizing the Zoom software. Next, we have the grading policies, grade computations, attendance policy. Regarding your attendance, during the first two weeks of the semester, you must complete at least one required assignment to be more at present. So from an online course, the attendance is determined by the completion of a required assignment for the course. So if you do not complete at least one required assignment during the first week of the semester, you may be withdrawn from the course for non-attendance. But hopefully we won't have that situation. You will all do the required assignments and that will not be an issue. Next, you have policies about makeup work, withdrawal date, et cetera, uh, disability resources. So again, please read through the additional policies that's on the syllabus as well as the course outline, okay? I'll now go back to the actual Blackboard site. So I wanna mention a few things. So I mentioned that if you wanna use Connect for your ebook, we will, we will use Connect for the ebook only. If you click here where it says Connect Registration, and if you click on this link here, it will give you access to the Connect software. Now, again, for those who do not have a textbook just yet, or perhaps you're waiting for some type of financial assistance, Connect does give you a 14-day grace period to use the Connect software free of charge. So everyone has access to the Connect software, to the ebook for a 14-day grace period. So hopefully if you wait for the textbook, that would give you time to get that accomplished, okay? For each chapter, you're going to have quizzes as well as homework. So the quizzes are here on the quiz tab. And again, the due date will be the same as the corresponding schedule. So we're gonna cover chapters one and two this week. Therefore, your chapter one and two quiz must be completed by this Sunday, okay? I mentioned that you must have access to the QuickBooks software. If you click here on the tab that says QuickBooks 2019 software, and if you click on this link here, it will take you through the process of how to register and download the QuickBooks software. Now, let me tell you this, for those students who are using a Mac computer. Unfortunately, the QuickBooks software is not compatible with a Mac computer, so you have to use a PC. If needed, you can get a learning computer from any of the four campuses. If you have questions about that, send me an email. But once again, you can get a loaner laptop computer from any of the four campuses, okay? So once you've gone through the actual process of downloading QuickBooks 2019 software, let's take a look at QuickBooks. I have it up here. So this is a sample company in QuickBooks. So you can get a feel for the different type of accounting functions that we can complete using QuickBooks. There's a section for vendors, section for customers, for employees, for banking needs. 
again, we're going to go through a variety of business transactions, and we're going to use the QuickBooks software in order to record those different types of business transactions. If you have any questions on the download process for QuickBooks, once again, feel free to reach out with, to me to those, with those questions or concerns. Okay, so I'm going to go back now to the Blackboard site. And I want to make sure that we understand what's going to be due this first week. So again, this first week, we are covering chapters one and we're covering chapter two. The chapter one homework assignments are at the, in the textbook at the end of chapter one and at the end of chapter two, okay? So once those assignments are completed, you are going to download those assignments to the Blackboard site using an Excel report template. So here we see the Excel report template is out there for every chapter. When you click on this, it will instruct you as to which assignment you must submit for the chapter one homework and for the chapter two homework. Once those Excel files are completed, you will click here on the assignments tab. And for example, the chapter one homework, you'll click on the chapter one link. You're then going to download the file to this link. And once you're done, click on the submit button. Okay, there will also video lectures out there for the earlier chapters of the lecture notes. There are video lectures out there for chapter one and for chapter two that tells you how to use the QuickBooks software. It shows you how to export reports from QuickBooks to Excel, as well as how to download the Excel files onto the Blackboard site. Okay. So that will conclude our orientation video. And again, if you have any questions, you can find my information here on the Blackboard site. If you go to, again, the Instructors tab, the Instructors tab has all of my contact information. And again, that will allow you to reach out to me with any additional questions. Okay, so let's get ready for a fun field eight week semesters of and learning how to use commercial software to do accounting functions have a good day